Hi everybody, this is Pete Sarge Conklin here at Thunder Christ Dodge Deep Ram and this is an overview of a 2022 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. Now this was the High Tide Edition and the High Tide Edition is one that came out um, to promote uh, Jeep Beach for 2022. They came out with the Beach Edition and the High Tide. All right. What is that package? All right, this came straight from Jeep. Uh, this is part of the what they call now the Extreme Recon package. Uh, you get the bigger tires with the BF Goodrich all-terrain tires, and you do get the bead uh, lock capable rims that come with it. But on top of that, what they also did is they replaced the gears in the back of this and that with the normal gear set. Uh, you'd be looking at 373s, but what they put in it was 456s. All right, what does that mean? That means that you get a lot more torque and it get, makes it much, much more capable. All right, on the back to support this big giant tire, they did reinforce the back with um, a Mopar re uh, strengthened uh, tailgate. All right. And then one of the cool things that Jeep came out with is this rock rail that they have on. It's actually not just a rock rail, but it's a sidestep. It does both of them. And this is what's going to sit there and protect your Jeep when you take it off-road. Power-wise, it's powered by 3.6 liter Penstar. And this group has the LED light group with it. Now, Mopar's LED light group is one of the best lighting systems on the planet. Personally, I would say it is the best, all right? Every other one that's out there is trying to capture the amount of light that this puts out. Now, when you go inside this vehicle, this one is a little bit different. Now, I do like the Stingray Gray, but inside this vehicle, what this has is your 8.4 inch Uconnect 4 system. It does have your aux switches. This gives you the ability to have three leads outside under the right side engine and one lead on the inside to hook up all of your electronics. All right, also on this, this does have, uh, you going across, you can mute the radio. This is your automatic stop start which you may or may not like. If you don't like automatic stop start, you can turn it off. That's a great thing that Jeep put out there. All right, electronic stability control, rear parking sensor, and then this is your downhill descent. Just think of that as cruise control for four wheel drive. Uh, and it's really nice when you're going down a hill because the only thing you have to concentrate on is steering. All right, inside the vehicle, super nice you do have uh all your gauges and you have the off-road pages which is where you have an inclimeter um that is right there and then when you go into the apps you do also have another off-road pages now it takes about a minute or less than a minute just uh the world's impatient um remember we are lost but we are never or we might get stuck, but we're not lost. Anyway, uh, that was horrible, but this does have your inclimeter. It does have your gauges, and it shows you your drivetrain along with steering angle, which is super important. All right, when you go to the pitch and roll, remember this is just for the passengers for the most part because you have your own pitch and roll right here. So basically what this is going to be, it's going to be able to scare the people that are sitting next to you when you go off radioing and you're getting close to the limits. I find it absolutely hilarious. Enjoy it. And uh, so should you. Now this vehicle is set up with one of my favorite features, which is the B-Stop because this is a uh, third, this is a three-piece hardtop. This B-Stop I think is an absolute game changer. When you're looking at this, all you have to do is flip down these two handles and then your centerpiece goes back here in the state of Florida where it rains in rainy season all the time. This makes it so fast to stay dry. If you want to find out more any other Jeep, stay tuned here to uh, Thunder Sarge and this is the Sarge signing off.